Good afternoon. Communication skill workshop. So communication, right? So warm welcome to the communication skill workshop. This time exclusively organized for second year postgraduate students of pre, para, clinical and super specialty departments. Uh, to begin with, warm welcome to our uh, sir from the head office directly. He is coming and joining us. Sir, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Manu B. L. Kothari, Chair of Medical Humanities, which is a part of Division of Medical Humanities of St. G.S. Medical College and KM Hospital, has organized this particular event and a warm welcome on behalf of Medical Humanities. I stand here as a core committee member of Medical Humanities, where there are my other colleagues through the presentation, you will come to know them also. So, a warm welcome to our Dean Sir, who is actually uh, saw this particular workshop being conducted and then he said immediately that Santosh we should have this workshop and then we started working on it. So I request Malik Madam to please welcome Sir with the class. <laughs> the Sir is a key person who is actually working at the MCI level for the ADPOM module and the attitude and communication of the undergraduate and postgraduates. So I think this is like for sir dream come to that such a module is being implemented in our institution. I also welcome Dr. Today's workshop it will be conducted by the key faculty and that is Dr. Sandeep Mane. I request Dean sir to welcome uh, Sandeep Mane. Uh, and the beginning only that I'm going to give So thank you and warm welcome, not only to Sandeep but entire team which is there and you, which you are actually going to witness here. I should make a special mention of Dr. Rajesh Katre, who is the resident uh, and he is the KEM Mars Secretary or the President. So a uh, warm welcome to him also. Because he is in third year, but I requested that because it is a welfare activity for the basically for the postgraduate students, he is here. So just raise the hand. Okay. So we actually take the entire mark here, right? Now, what we are going to begin with is a audio visual clip on medical humanities division. Because you must have actually while you know you hardly must be coming to college building, there are a number of activities which are organized by medical humanities. And the key person, Dr. Manu V. L. Kothari sir. Let's see this particular clip to know more about Medical Humanities Division.
These are the faculty members who are the core committee members. Dr. Lopa Mehta Madam, the pillar behind all of us, mother of uh, rather JSNC and KMH will be soon joining us and she is the inspiration behind this event also. My request as a, one of the key organizer of this particular thing because of uh, the, the responsibility which is bestowed on me by sir is that all the mobiles will be on silent mode, right? And you are officially relieved from your duties by the letter from the insert to your HODs and HOUs. So, there is nothing like more urgent than patient care, isn't it? And from patient care you are relieved. So, please do not, for the attending mobile call also you cannot go out because you are not supposed to be on call. That is what is the direction which is given to the HOD, right? So, what we are going to have is that we will have a communication skill workshop and there will be a number of activities and you are going to participate in the entire activity and at the end, when we are finishing all this, we will be also having lights, refreshments and tea coffee, right? So, this is the plan which we are going to have. Now, sir has commitment at 3.30. Uh, uh, he is going to give a guest lecture at some other place. So, I will request Dean sir to address the gathering and your uh, actual expectation from the postgraduate students related to communication. Thank you, sir. I think uh, all the respected members of the humanity cell, I really remember Dr. M. L. Kothari who has spoke here many times and has given us all communication. Dr. Sandeep Mani, our own GSI, who has come back. Santosh, all the residents who have already come. I think all of you must realize that over the years, since we were students, that time knowledge was the main component and communication was learned by looking at people. Over the years, the things have changed now. I'm sure all of you will be able to really see the communicate, I mean knowledge and skills automatically you will gain. What you really today need to understand in our, our kind of medicine is attitudes, ethics and communication. And we need to really work on this over years. And this is a need which is not only realized by Indian educationists but all over the world. And in fact last week I was working on a booklet which will be published by Medical Council of India. It has gone for printing, I feel. So that is on at top what we call as attitude ethics and communication. And I think this is extremely timely that we are working on a communication skills workshop in this particular place. And I think one of the best part of this communication workshop is I think it is done by the GS sites for GS sites in the GS. And there is nothing like that. Dr. Sandeep Mane has really come in a long way. He was a student, <coughs> then he went to UK. Ten years was in UK. He was getting a consultant's post. But then he came back. And in the last ten years, he has really developed this whole concept of his origin foundation, which has been conducting this workshop. I think this is a golden opportunity for all of us to really take this forward moment. We want to take these communication skills workshops across. It's not what you will say, why, why we need to have to go through these kind of workshops. Let me tell you, throughout your life, even today also, I learn about communication because you as a patient or a doctor or anybody as an administrator, you will get so many opportunities where your communication is most important. Where will you pause it? what kind of a reactions you give, what words you use, written communications, publications, oral communications. There is so much to learn throughout your life. And I think this is probably one session which you are going to go. But what I would like to really think about it as Dr. Santos said, forget the rest of the thing and introspect. How are you going to learn from this session and how are you going to change your behavior and your way you are going to communicate. Maybe it's not only with patients. Patients of course is the main force of this workshop but automatically it implies to many other interpersonal, your family and your other kind of communications. Because if you realize after your degree, the way you progress is all about your written and oral communications. So I think this
this is one of the most important part. Very kindly, I would like to really thank all those who are involved. Origin Foundation, Sandeep, Santosh, Imani Kisel, for coming out this idea. And I feel this will be of a great help. My experience tells, I have been to Sandeep's one program and whatever experiences somebody else gave me, everybody has enjoyed every session. The feedback is excellent. So I feel just relax and enjoy. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much, Dean sir. Your guidance and encouragement always, you know, makes us work more for such causes. Friends, and now, uh, my task is actually made very easy by Dean sir by introducing Dr. Sandeep Mani. However, it's our present task to introduce him a little more elaborate. Uh, Sandeep, we both share the same birth year. I'm not going to disclose like the boys and girls uh, guess what is our age, but we are uh, no, we are born the same year, and that's why we became MD. I became MD medicine, and Sandeep uh, Dr. Sandeep is MD gynec and obstetrics. So with that, what is important is uh, he is chief trustee and president of Origin Foundation Thane. Now yes, I served there. He is our own alumnus, MD, DGO, FCPS, DICOG, and then. His association with KM from 1991 to 1994. Certificate of completion of specialist training in OBGY in London in 2005. And then FRCOG, Royal College London, 2009. Now, to his subject, advanced level laparoscopic and hysteroscopic surgery skills, special skills in gynecological ultrasound scanning and advanced fertility treatment. However, if I read his CV, which is several pages, definitely I will be taking away the time from his workshop. What is important is, apart from the clinical expertise which he has, he has developed his own modules on soft skill development, particularly for the healthcare professional. And that's actually is a need of power. When we say professionalism, uh, sessions we take all across the uh, country when we go and we take professionalism and communication skill, the faith towards the doctors about the, you know, the whatever the question mark is there, and the question mark, if not completely abolished, I think we can make it fainter and fainter by organizing such events and by contributing from your side when you take some part of it and try to implement. So that is what is the important thing, and with that actually mission, Dr. Sandeep has started a very apt name, Susamwa Abhiyan, Susamwa. That's what is actually the deal of the hour. And he has done the session before. <coughs> Sir witnessed some sessions. And then we have invited him. He's going a long way across our state where he will, he's conducting in you know, all the almost all government medical colleges and other colleges he's going to conduct this series of workshop. And Dr. Sandeep Mane, let me thank here only on behalf of the entire team of Humanity Cell, the Institute, the Dean Sir. And the entire team of this is such a big team has come for coming here and actually for next three hours or three and a half hours or four hours, Dr. Sandeep Mani is going to conduct a very active lively workshop. So Dr. Sandeep Mani, the podium is yours. At the end, only I will come for half a minute for official thanksgiving. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I have such high regards for Dr. Avinash Subhay, sir, that I tell you, I'm absolutely short of words. Seeing that video of KM Hospital, our Manu Bhutari, sir, as a student of this institute, 32 years ago, I've been in this college. 10 years of my life I spent in these, in these premises, and walking down the lanes and remembering those days, it's just, it gets goosebumps, and I tell you, emotions are high. And as Sir said, GSI, for GS, in GS, wow, what a combination. And it's just a pleasure. It's one of the best days of my life to be here standing in front of you. And I'll make sure that it's worth it. Every minute, you people have taken a lot of pains. I know you're tired, exhausted, too many things on your mind. And you've come and sat here. I'll ensure you that by the end of this session, you'll walk out thinking, yes, I think I have something caught in my mind. And tomorrow onwards, I'll be a different person, a different doctor. This is our mission. 
I mean, sir believes we, we want to make our students like that. I believe, Dr. Salagre, we are all now in charge to change our doctors, not to be just GS, stands for good students. I want to make them great students by the end of this session. No more just GS, it's got to be the great. I tell you, I've, I've traveled the world, I've worked, I've worked in England, I went to America, so many places, and everywhere when they said, where did you do your MBBS or MD? It was always a proud feeling to say, you know what, KM Hospital, GS Medical, and that feeling is unique. And I don't know whether you all have got that, you know what, I was on those chairs. I never realized what I had. I just went through those 10 years and today looking back at those 10 years, I believe it was such a lovely time of my life and maybe at that time I did not realize. So I will want you to remember whatever you have got in your hand is very unique. Make the most of it. By the end of this session, I tell you, uh, you will be very different doctors. Before I go any further, I want to, from my part, thank sir with a small book. Again, sorry sir, if I can disturb you, please, um, uh, can I, thank you. So, just because you've given the special opportunity, it's a special day. Thank you, sir. That's for making it Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry for the reasons and for the token. Thank you, sir. Um, Dr. Salagre, please, I would like to thank you also. Thank you very much. Dr. Salagre, and I coordinated this whole event on the guidance of sir. Uh, thank you. Um, and uh, we exchanged lots of phone calls, emails, and we, he managed to get this day together. Um, with this much, um, I would like to start the session. <coughs> As I say, this is not like any other regular lecture, a boring thing. Like Dr. Salagri was saying, you are sitting in the corners, try to come in the middle. The typical thing about sitting in the corners is, if it gets boring, I'll just skip out from those do doors, you know. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, that won't be the case. Absolutely assure you that won't be the case. He's got a lovely game plan. He got all you sitting in front first, and then I said, why not behind? He said, you know what, let's get these chairs filled first, and then when they come, the next door will open them the back. So, it's perfectly organized, and this is perfect. So, uh, thank you for all of you for coming, and uh, I will just play an audio visual. The plan for the day, the simple overview. One, you know what, I'll tell you what. When we thought we should talk of communication skills, because I was working in different countries, worked in England, became a consultant, I thought communication skills is such a huge subject. How do we teach that? In what span of time? Over how much period? You know, there's a calculation to that. Today, the whole idea is for you to realize the need for communication. To realize what is communication. And in four hours, there are various things we've utilized. One, audiovisual. That will summarize the whole thing. Two, uh, PowerPoint. Three, this is the most important part. I mean, to actually come forward and do this. Now, when I call people forward to come and do it, I get hardly anybody wanting to and I am I'm forced to say, you come as if you are the scapegoat. Now, don't do that. Come forward. If any of the seven stations have come, I need seven of you to come forward. And I'm sure you'll worry and be scared and wouldn't want to be, but if you do that, it will such a, such a one. I can't get 200 to do this. That's the only problem. So seven of you, please come forward. Let it be a let it let people laugh. Doesn't matter. I can assure you, if anyone comes and does that, it will be the same state. So never hesitate. I will want to urge you right now before we start. I want people to come forward. Seven of you, simple stations, no big deal. Any of you can do that. Be it. Um, not now. <laughs>
education at all. In everybody's life, health is of utmost importance. Every person must be disease free. For this, the best of healthcare services and medical facilities must be made available to everyone. In the current medical curriculum worldwide, doctors are trained to cure using available technology, equipment and their skills. Emphasis has not been given to care for the patient, but research has proven that care is of great importance in curing the patient. The field of medicine has two sides to it, medical knowledge and humanity. A good attitude of the doctor and good communication skills are imperative for the doctor and patient to bond. Good medical skills along with good communication skills are able to develop a good doctor-patient relationship which is based on mutual respect and trust. It has been proven that communication skills, like any other skill, can be acquired by training and practice. Many a time the patient feels better just by talking to the doctor, even before the treatment starts. This is going to be planned. We will give you the timetable, we will give you the medicines and things, and then you can come ready for that. So, book is okay? Yes. It was a long operation, but you did very well, and I'm glad it's all gone well. I'll find out what the scan says. Um, because I need to see the report for myself. Um, there's something else we can do. We'll have to put the telescope in again. The laparoscopic uh, operation we'll have to do again. And uh, we'll have a look inside. Endometriosis, you know, sometimes excision helps. Last time they had just on the biopsy of the endometriosis, this time we'll excise it all. Uh, and if it all doesn't help, really, hysterectomy will be the last option. It should be that dog extraction. Yeah? Question. No, it's not, it's not serious. Doctors working in government hospitals are very often under high pressure having to manage a large number of patients. Many of these patients may not be able to afford any treatment and their expectations are limited. Due to paucity of time and the overwhelming circumstances, these doctors are often unable to develop a good rapport with their patients. At the same time, lack of structured training and assessment of communication skills makes it difficult for these doctors to acquire these skills. Dr. Mane has worked in the UK for 12 years and has trained numerous doctors from all over the world at the Royal College London. Good training in medical knowledge and communication Followed up by proper clinical experience leads to a change which is always positive and long lasting. Doctor me, patient ke doyan mujhe pahu, naati wale ke doyan mujhe pahu, kaise si bola na pahi? Isi kari, very kari. My teacher taught to me, patient is the center of medical in the world. Doctor ne patient ka sagar bata, doctor ne shataun ke liye. Ami the medical kono. मानूस the ability to manage a patient physically and even mentally is only possible with good communication patience and trust increases treatment becomes easier and the patient is able to take the right decision when informed and educated. Even if one cannot give a 100% guarantee of the outcome, care for the patient leads to the best possible cure.
really. This is what we have to try and achieve today. You know, how much you know, the stress that has been on the knowledge component, the books, you people read so much, you people have so much experience, the wealth of treatment, the medical uh, experience you get, but in terms of care that we try to highlight, not just the cure, this is what we want to try and bring. Now these are words which will sound very dry. Oh yeah, I know what care is. I know what communication skills is. And I know how to talk to patients. I'm sure you do and I'm sure you try your best. But let us try and understand whether you really have got the sense of what we're trying to say. Let me just take the PowerPoint presentation, please, uh, Sangeeta. PowerPoint. Okay. Again, I would like to thank Dr. Supesa, Dr. Loka Mehta, Madam, I spoke to her after many years, few, few days ago. Dr. Salagre, helping us the whole way. And all my teachers of this institute, all the HODs, all the health units, colleagues, patients of this institute, over that period, 1985 to 1994, till I left India, immediately after passing out from here. Today, I stand completely grateful thankful to all of them who made me what I am today and that feeling is so unique to be here today after you know traveling the world emotions come sometimes um, but uh, you know uh, that is a nice feeling to be back here next slide please now little bit again for myself uh, I started with KM hospital full fledged went back went to UK rather and then you know it has a, it has a uh, hierarchy again, lab exam, MRCOG, FRCOG, training, consultant grade and I went through the whole ladder and on the day I got my CCST that we need to become a consultant, I resigned and they were quite shocked. What, uh, what happened? You are going? I said, yeah, then what did you do all this training for? I said, there was a purpose, I needed the degrees, I needed the British experience, I needed to understand what happens in the Western world. I have achieved it from now on, what else am I going to learn? No more degrees, no more well, another 100 patients, another 100 operations, I decided to come back and that was one of the best decisions. But coming back to India, that last 10 years here, this private practice, hmm, that is what we have to try and understand, that is what is ahead of you people. Foreign countries ahead of you, private practices ahead of you, something, you people are doing all this, so much hard work you are doing, what for, what is coming next? Are we really ready for that? Let's discuss that today. Now, in the 10 years and towards the end of the 10th year, when I saw all this, the news about doctors getting beaten up, violence in hospitals and all that, I thought, this is just too much. The doctors are working so hard. They are such intelligent people. These are the, this is the cream of Indian health education system. And why are they being treated like this? Something is missing and I analyzed that and I realized enough of my private practice because that will go on another 10 years and I learn a lot of money and what next after that? I thought let us step back a little. Let us give back something to the society and here I took a lot from KM. As I keep saying, coming back here and starting this thing today is something of unique feeling. I took a lot. Now is the time here for the foundation that I'm starting actually give back and today I tell you, I honestly tell you, I'm only here and only here because each and every one from tomorrow I want you to become different doctors. That's the whole mission and it's a tough mission and you have to take it seriously, it will happen. Now when I analyzed the whole thing in India, it was that the government, the medical profession and our society, there are three angles to this. And yes, the government can make all these rules, only two relatives, no violence and no this and no this and a law, non malleable offence. Yes, you can have all that. Research tells us there is enough proof that won't solve the problem. That really won't solve. That will be a help. That's an additional measure. So that's okay. That can happen. My worry is the good communication, good clinical. That part which the medical bodies can give to the medical profession. Now that part is what will change everything. You wouldn't need, you don't, I tell you, look, coming to KM hospital premises, walking down these same lanes, which I walked 30 years ago, and seeing so many guards, and so many security people, I felt, my God, this atmosphere was so lovely those days when I was here. When I walked down these corridors, and nobody had to enter anything. It looks like a fortress, this hospital. 
and I felt, why are, we, why are we having it like this? And I honestly felt very bad deep inside that uh, an institution of a magnitude like this needs guards, people as great as this need to be guarded. Hmm. That's where I think seriously this communication will be brought in, we will make a difference. And of course society needs to be aware, of course society needs to be aware that this is happening. You know what? These team, my team members are here. These are all my hospital nurses, uh, the admin people, the pathologists. These are my people who will come into a lot of drama here today. And when they see all this happening, they tell me, Doctor, is this what you people go through? Is this your life? And then they realize what we people go through managing patients. The general public probably does not realize. The general public seriously does not realize. And of course they get all this bombardment by media X, Y, Z. I'm not getting into the politics of it all. I'm not interested in that. What I'm interested in is, let us solve what we can solve. Then the rest will follow. So yes, like Sir came to Thane for that event. You saw some of the clips of some of the brilliant doctors. Dr. Kulhe, Dr. Bhavaskar, Dr. Dhamane. And I had urged your Mara people actually have sent a message for you people to come. I tell you, each of you would have transformed into a different person had you been there on that day and heard those people and Sir said something, give me the full video recording and I actually handed over the full video recording to Sir because you people should someday find time to see that full, full thing at length. I just showed you a minute and in that minute you could see the impact what Dr. Bhavaskar was saying, what Dr. Dhamane was saying. These are people doing a lot of work. Now, I am sure you will say, does just that because they work in the villages? Just because they work charity, does that make them good doctors? If I take money, does that make me a bad doctor? That is a different debate. We will come to that. But these people have chosen this profession and they are following it up in that manner and are actually transforming lives. Each of you will be able to transform lives and I mean every word of it and we will come to that in a minute. Um, so, the last part down here, develop respect for each other and we don't need anything else and we will achieve that. Don't worry, absolutely guaranteed, I'm 200% confident that everything will change, everything will change because we had missed that point. We had missed it till now. Our curriculum didn't have it and it's a little <coughs> late. We did a lot of damage. The damage has happened. Now, Amir Khan can show it on Satyavya Jayate and he can damage that trust even more. The trust between two parties is destroyed. Whatever is, I'm not getting into that. That trust is destroyed. A husband and wife, a trust is destroyed. What will you expect? What will you expect? How can you develop that trust again? How much effort will it take to develop that trust again? Society and doctors are two people who had to do that. We were given a lovely platform and for various reasons that trust got damaged and people took liberty in damaging that further thinking by opening and exposing it, you actually solved the problem. You haven't actually, the problem has got bigger. So that respect cannot be just developed. Now we have to work harder. We had the position. We had the position. You were gods. But we came down, we were brought down for various reasons and now it is a challenge. And we are starting the challenge again. Because a profession like this cannot tolerate that sort of a status for too long. We have to regain our respect. And the regaining of respect wouldn't come just by one day. Nobody is going to hand it over to you. You will have to achieve that respect. And that will have to be brought in by a lot of hard work. And which I am sure you and I are good kind of people and we will achieve it for sure. Next slide please. This is what it is. You know, there is nothing separate. The social society, human life, the people, patients and doctors. These are the wheels that rotate in the society and the lubrication of this wheels to rotate smoothly is communication will stop. You communicate with patients, you communicate with relatives, you communicate with your colleagues and smooth, no noise, no guards required. Beautiful. Next, please. Yes, various issues, changing relationships, because government patients, private patients, people have so much to handle, we'll come to that. Different patient groups between government hospitals and private hospitals. You, quite a lot of you will be actually heading towards a private practice. Imagine stepping out of KM hospital and next day a very different class of patient, expecting something really different and demanding and bringing a long list of Google questions. And you're standing on, I, I'm not actually handling it 
Till now, I didn't know this. Now from today, if you're expecting me to do this properly, you know, it becomes a tough challenge. So different patient groups, different expectations, different languages. How many of you in this hall actually don't know Marathi and that's not a problem because if I go to Tamil Nadu, I wouldn't know Tamil. Uh, how many of you do not know Marathi? Don't worry, please, be bold. That's fine, you're Indians, you're my colleagues, so I'm not saying that's wrong. So there are quite a few of them, 15, 20 of you are not having Marathi as their first language. Now imagine, I'm saying do communication and I don't know Marathi. What communication will I do with this patient? But that is the situation. Can that be an excuse? That cannot be. You have to learn. Then learn some sentences. Try and pick up. If I go to Tamil Nadu, I will have to. Because how do I treat patients? How do they feel good about me? So that's not an excuse, but language can be a problem in our current system. Last point is, of course, confused patients. This is another big problem. Very confused patients. So they are down there. So from there you have to bring them to the zero level and then build your relation on top of them. <laughs> Damage is so badly done that from there to bring them there half the energy is gone to help them understand and then wipe out all that rubbish that has gone in their head then bring them to zero and then really start the proper tough time because now you develop the trust and rapport. Next slide please. Okay, so this is where it is. Dr. Pishnu is good, bad, it has gone to ugly but we want to make it good. Can you practice in an ugly atmosphere? Can you actually go out there thinking each patient is suspecting you like a crook? And you sit in front of the patient thinking, my God, I'm here, I'm here to help you. I can do it for you. But you think I'm a crook? Do you want to practice like that? We can't practice like that. How, how do you think the patient will trust you? How do you think the patient will respect you? Only and only and only by you having the best skills. You having the ethics, attitude, communication that sir has been highlighting. And where have you been taught ethics? I'll come to the ethics of the last part. The okay? last part of the session will be ethics. And, and the attitude, the meanings of these words and the communication of course will be the main part. So previously we had that service oriented, you see some of the doctors you heard earlier. We had a lot of trust and from the trust position, whatever changed, God knows, a lot of business angle came in, a lot of things went wrong, our practices, ethics, well, hmm, we had a problem, we didn't realize, you thought it was all hidden under the carpet and suddenly the carpet was pulled off and all practices came out and people thought, what? I thought this was a, he, she was a god. Why did the god do that to me? Hmm. And then they said, no, 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 don't, they don't deserve this. Bring them down. Nobody has sympathy even. What is going on around? Nobody has sympathy even. SI chayu, SI no, 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 we are not like that. Whatever has happened, something has gone wrong. We'll say sorry, but let us get the last again. You know, so that is last. But this is where we are. This is our future. These are the kind of doctors we want. Very ethical, very professional, very honest. We will charge money, we will take money, but there will be no cheating. I will go to the village if you want, and I'll serve the poor, and I'll give up my life and dedicate, and have nothing in return I will take is my choice. But if I practice in the urban area and I want to learn a lot of money and I want the best house and best, fine, that's my choice. But I would not cheat. I'll be honest. I will be professional. It will be transparent practice. I will do what is right for the patient. That attitude must come. Don't worry. Taking money doesn't make it unethical. But not doing it fairly, that's what is wrong. So we will be leaders. You, this country needs leaders. I tell you, if cream like this is treated like that, what is the rest of the country's future? We want to become the learned professional leaders of this country. You want to make opinion on the country. You want to change the other part of the country. If the best of the best get this treatment, then what do you expect really? Honestly, when I say this, I mean it because 10 years, I know how I have survived here after having lived 12 years in England to come back and see the way they drive, to come back to see the way they talk, to see the way they treat you. Feel like, how much do you do? Where do you do? So, we are the people who can change this from the chart. We can take another one from the chart. And this one from the chart is a I actually, actually gave them an award which I was not capable, they were far too bigger than me to award 
them, but I said, no, you're not, this is not an award, you're far beyond awards. Origin Adarsha Doctor Award, because I wanted the society to know that there are doctors, there are those sorts of doctors who are Adarsh people, Adarsh human beings, and we must actually get them their position, because they are also being looked at in the same lens. Dr. Bhavaskar, Dr. Dhamne, people who are giving up their lives for the poor and suffering and helping lives of people are also looking, being looked at in this. I tell you what, my staff went to a shop to prepare trophies, to prepare certificates for these doctors. And they said, this is for the poor doctor who came from the so, so, from their village and we have to give them all the support and we have to give them all the support. And you know what that shopkeeper says to us? Aray, sab dhongi hai ye. The shopkeeper has the guts to talk of these doctors. Ye gao mein kuch nahi hai, udar toh bhar paisa hai. Aapko lagta hai, ye aise kuch nahi hai. Isme kuch noble kuch nahi hai, sab chori hai. Aur kya hai ko din hai? Malab imagine ko, kya ho nahi hai? What will you say? When you talk of like things like that for doctors of that nature, then that's sad. Right, so we will change future. Okay, next please. Now, as sir said, knowledge and skills, galore, no problem. Attitude and communication, issue. You know, this is, you are the world's best at the top level, okay? When you talk of Gray's Anatomy and Harrison's and all, these American and British students get bowled out. They don't read these books as a routine book, okay? They use them as reference books. They never ever know so much details about these subjects. As much as you know, you people are far more knowledgeable. But the problem comes to apply those knowledge, to prepare those skills as sir said, to get the experience, knowledge, experience and professional change. That's where we lack. So this part, we will rectify this, no doubt, but you want to become the first contact of the community and to stay globally relevant. This is the dream of the Indian Medical Council of India. Next please. So what is the role of an Indian medical graduate? He has to be a good clinician, he has to be a leader, team member, communicator, a professional and a lifelong learner. This is what your life is, okay? This is life not given to you, you've chosen it. You've chosen a life to learn lifelong. No businessman has to sit on the business and learn lifelong like you have to do. You have no choice. If you get CME points, people complain, my doctors complain. Arey, kya headache hai? Ye CME points, conference mein jane ka, her five years have to collect some points. It is considered a pain. But medicine changes fast. And if you don't keep up with the change, how do you expect to give your best service to the patient? So I tell you, these sorts of things must be accepted open, uh, uh, with open arms. Best. So we want to be good clinicians and fantastic. You people are great. As far as that part is concerned, no problem. You will be wonderful. But then being a leader, team member, communicator, professional approach, this is where we have to few areas we have to work on. And of course, lifelong learner, you people are good at that in terms of keeping up with the change and uh, research. Next, please. So, as a communicator, now coming to the point, okay, this was the general overview about why we are here today, what are we trying to achieve today, but coming to the actual communication, you want to improve the patient's satisfaction and outcome, it is proven, okay, everything is proven, establish professional relationships with your colleagues and your society, respect patient belief, privacy, confidentiality, it all sounds simple, yeah, privacy, I respect privacy, confidentiality, yes, yeah, I, I said uh, respect confidentiality, but when it comes to this patient sitting here and she says, doctor, I don't want a chaperone in the room, I want you to do the examination without the chaperone, you wonder, is this a, is this a tricky situation, will I get into trouble now, should I bow to this demand or should I re reject, no, I want to examine you then, then, all the skills come, okay? Respecting privacy, yeah, I do respect privacy, it's easy to say, but when it comes to actual real life situations, human beings, different type of people, different intentions, you always have to watch your back, who's going to stab in your back? Then, it's a different game. Then, you have to please the patient, you have to safeguard yourself, then a lot of learning has to be done. Uh, so that's privacy, you can encourage participation, share decision making with the patient, respect colleagues, families of patients, very important, very very important, respecting colleagues, helping your junior doctors, helping your interns, helping your medical students, helping the nurses 
as you see, as postgraduates, you've got so much responsibility to actually respect your colleagues and actually share knowledge with them, help them get better. So many times you think, oh, if I say everything he will know, then if he or she gets my notes, she will get more marks than me. Your mind is working. That's how you've been trained from schools. That's how you've been trained from schools. Don't give everything. Keep your importance. You know, that training is wrong. And then you wonder, then what do you mean? No, sharing, helping, because if that person is good, irrespective of whether you try to stop the person, the person will still go ahead. So why not take the benefit and credit for doing that? So I would think this uh, attitude of hiding, if you, know, you go to a course, you go to some course, they will not teach you everything. Because you know what, if I teach everything, then I will have so many competitors. So why teach? That is, is such a selfish attitude. What is it? We are, you are doctors, you are working in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Bihar, and you've got 100 patients in each of those places. If I've given you all the skills, all those patients who is somebody's mother, brother, sister is getting that benefit. Why not give it on and let them enjoy that? You know, so honestly, we need to have that change in our attitude to share, to give. I'm not sorry, I'm not going to become philosophical. I'm not a Baba to try and teach you all that. But I'm trying to just help you understand that, that it, it is spiritual thinking. Spiritual thinking. Somewhere that must come in. Spirituality must come in. Look into yourself. Am I a very selfish, self centered person? Or do I want to become a very respectful, honest, and professional person? And I look into the mirror and I feel good about myself? This is what is the choice that you have to make. Choice, no force. Next, please. Okay, what are they? These are skills which assist you to present yourself in the best possible way to achieve the best effect. You know what? If you sit in front of the patient and you say, Oh, you know what? I'm a good doctor and I'm going to try and help you and all that. But you've had a very bad day. You've done a lot of wrong things. You've had a lot of fights that morning or the day before. You are a very mentally disturbed person unhappy. Do you think honestly you are going to be able to do a good communication? Is that the drama you can so easily put up with internally so disturbed kind of a person? So a doctor needs to try and make sure that the mindset is stable, mindset is relaxed. <coughs> make sure that you looked after yourself such that you can then perform. You can't do a drama. The drama will be seen. Patient will know. That is why I call a racket. You know? You can't be a different person inside and show you are a different person that people see through directly. <coughs> so try and see to look after yourself so that the message is next, please. So it is the ability to convey thoughts, ability to understand the person <coughs> across and in a calm, calculated manner. Simple, very simple. What is the problem then? You are all adults, educated, intelligent, proven yourself so many times in so many exams. Then what is the problem? Can I not talk? Am I not a sensible person? No, it's not that simple. Does communication come naturally? Yes or no? Post lunch, I'm not going to let you sleep. <laughs> communication comes naturally, yes or no? Yes or no? How many yes? There are a few yes. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Some people may. But a lot of people have to work on developing communication skills. But everyone can learn. Understand? Everyone can learn. Now there are three, you know, I have the Royal College of Sur Gynecologists, Surgical Skills Training in Charge. And I used to teach 23 courses a year, 16 candidates on each. And I used to hold them hands and say, this is how you tie a knot, this is how you hold an instrument. That kind of basics, how to hold instruments, how to tie knots, how to deliver babies, that sort of thing. And one third of the category would be so good, if you show them a little bit and they grasp it. One third would have a struggle at the end. I say, nahi, isko, fir, I say, you know, <laughs> and one third you feel, I say, because the cooking. You know, <laughs> mom, <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> It is natural. You don't, everybody is not good at everything. The communication may be as I like Some people will learn so quickly because they've got something in them that way, that talent, they may say, and they just move on. Some will take effort and some will struggle. But he can struggle to struggle. Profession may have maybe a hum communication. Bar board lagao ke kya medical practice ke baad ki lack of communication in this hospital. Na to hai choice to hai. Okay. Uh, so I have a thought in my mind. I want you to understand that thought. Ek thought. 
Again, if I have a right person, I get the right thoughts. If I have the right thoughts, I have to formulate that thought into a wording, a sentence. And that sentence goes on to your ears, you hear, you make sense of it. And the wording translates into a, a, a thought. And it goes to thoughts match. Ah, communication is good. But I had a thought which was not perfectly right. Then I said something, you heard something, something else happened and completely break down communication or I could not use the, I am a nice person, a very gentle, the divine doctor, but I just cannot talk. When I open my mouth, the person across me is so angry, irritated, God, I don't like this doctor. But then that good doctor has not been able to do the job. Please understand what I am trying to say. You really need to work on this area. It's not easy to stand here and present your thoughts as I am and most of myself. I have done this many times. <laughs> At, at the Royal College, at various places, wherever I've been teaching doctors, because I said and kept talking, I can talk and express myself. But that is not always easy. And it will come to everybody if you try hard. So communication needs a bit of effort. Please, next. Here we go then. So what are the basics? And presentation, empathy, eye contact, active listening, non-medical language, speak loud, clear. So all sounds very boring. You know what is all this? I don't know. I, I can do all this. By the way, presentation, what do I mean? How do you go to the OPD? How do you come to the ward rounds every morning? By the way, is there anything different when you go to the examination of your particular thing and different when you come to the ward? <laughs> <laughs> on the day of the examination, is the apron nicely ironed and all that? And on the day of the ward, it doesn't matter. You know, I am so tired. 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 <laughs> Seriously, every day a special effort must be made to go and present yourself in front of the patient as a fresh looking person and whatever your tiredness and exhaustion and hunger has to be able to be hidden. That is the art, that is the profession. I'm sorry, that's the choice you've made. But now you've made your choice, go ahead and do it properly. So, uh, this thing about presentation, please make a special effort, how you are shaven, how your shoes, polish, the clothes, the t-shirts and jeans and as I give a so patient ko nahi baat kar paoge. Empathy, uh, next slide please, I'll go to the next one, then we'll come to that, empathy. Next slide please. Okay, what is empathy? Sounds good, be empathetic, be a nice person, be a nice doctor, make the patient comfortable, is empathy. How do you show empathy? Does empathy come naturally? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes, it does? Give me an example. How does empathy come naturally? Example. Movie mein wo jo ekdom pyaar ho raha hai to man mein kuch ho raha hai ekdom aisa. Ya koi wo mar gaya to रोते भी हो ना मूवी में रोए हो कभी मूवी में क्यों रोते हैं अरे वो तो एक्टिंग कर रहा है उसको करोड़ों पैसे मिले हैं ऐसा बात करो कि तो रोना बंद हो जाता है पढ़ी थी माय गॉड इमोशंस दैट पर्सन इस सफर दैट्स बीन लॉस एंड यू आर क्राइंग यर एंड यू फील लाइक अ फूल क्या हो रहा है दैट इस एम्प Somebody has an emotional thing ahead, name the emotions. It 
looks like you are upset. What is upsetting you? तो वो name करो emotion को. It looks like you are very disturbed. Tell me please, why do you feel like that? Whatever that is. Appreciate the feelings. No, I I totally uh, understand. I I will try. I try. I can only imagine how you feel. I really believe you are trying your best. Respect that. Legitimize. A lot of people feel like that in these given situations. So don't feel that this is something different. And then be support. I'm there. I, I want to help you. I hope we can work together on this. That is the kind of wording that must come. So that's empathy. Next, please. I'm going a little fast with this because this is not really the main part of this, which is more important. Ha! Now you will not like this line. Why is it reduced? Because you people are just so tired. Sometimes you don't get sleep. I I've been through that. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, you don't get sleep. You don't get adequate rest, and you've got so much pressure. The exams, the patients, the demands, the medical system, the curricula, but competition. So many things. And also, I've gone through life. That is also important. So yes, yes, sir. Me. You know what? As I said, if your mind is unhappy, un uh, uh, hungry, tired, and all that, then you are not going to be able to. That and over the period of three years, gradually, without you realizing, that all that whole thing starts dropping. Empathetic part starts dropping because you become a little mechanical, and then suddenly you come back to the real world, and things are different. That is another problem. So this is known. Whatever I am saying is proven, proven by research everywhere in the world that medical training wise, people tend to lose empathy. Next, please. Listening. Increase the waiting time. If somebody is saying something, to show that you are listening, don't quickly respond. Give it a second or two, and the person is able to say more. He thinks you are giving time, space. Increase the waiting time. Facilitative responses. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. What else? Tell me more. That sort of facilitative responsing. Non-verbal skills, you know, and verbal and non-verbal cues that may come. So you have to be very good at listening. Next. अब ये तो theoretical चल रहा है थोड़ी देर में ये फिर कमेंट शो हो जाएगा ओके what we are right not doing is knowing and showing is a different matter <laughs> where are they required interaction with colleagues seniors paper presentations debates discussions examination viva was oh my god everywhere everywhere going from here to the bus stop going out and talking to one of my receptionists going to the board everywhere it is everything is communication successful people are good at communication without communication the future is bleak next please right so that is where it is uh, i'll skip that one that is the same thing as interviews and all <coughs> now this is where we are doctor profession on one hand medical team on other hand patient relatives society hmm, very 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 demanding profession not so easy don't take it like you don't think you are going to do well just like that without the right head on your shoulders without the right heart you are not going to be able to handle all fronts and please all fronts and yes i forgot one family there was no space <laughs> <laughs> so no time for space for family you know this to samajhna hai dekho please ye zimmedariyan hai kitni badi this is a huge responsibility given to you and it's not so easy if either clinically you are not good or communicating wise you are poor any of these two you are in trouble next please so why learn communication skills because our profession like dr subesar says is abstract kuch bhi predictable nahi hai kuch bhi kabhi bhi ho sakta hai everything might be fine and next moment something has happened ab aise mein clarity rakhna communicate karna trust develop karna respect between people that is the only thing that will save you because that moment patient will feel why did this happen because unhi samajhte na medicine medicine to aap samajhte ho to unke liye wo mushkil hota hai but aapne agar sab cheeze sahi ki hai get to that lead to the point then you will be fine good human beings banna hai good future practice banna hai better person kare wo sab jo hai it's all the discrimination that's next is so today we are trying to have a realization of communication skills the need to have them and accept accept please just those who walk out of this room thinking कुछ नहीं वो तो हो जाएगा यू वेस्ट हो गया चार घंटा यू हैव लॉस्ट योर अपॉर्चुनिटी इन लाइफ वॉक आउट ऑफ दिस रूम थिंकिंग 
हाँ यार एक सोचने की बात है ये बारे में ज्यादा कुछ हुआ नहीं अब तो कुछ करना पड़ेगा ये अगर थॉट प्रोसेस ही लेके चल पड़ते हो आगे जाके खुद से थोड़ा प्रैक्टिस कर कुछ नहीं प्रॉब्लम है आई कैन टेल दिस नो प्रॉब्लम दिस इज नॉट नीडेड बट अब हमने इतने सालों से मिस किया तो हम थोड़ा शुरू कर रहे सो दिस थिंग यू हैव टू रियलाइज एंड एक्सेप्ट लर्न द प्रिंसिपल्स स्मॉल ग्रुप डिस्कशंस करो डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन ऑब्जर्व 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 जो भी कोई बात कर रहा है जस्ट कीप ऑब्जर्विंग व्हाट इज दैट बॉडी लैंग्वेज हाउ डज ही प्रेजेंट हिमसेल्फ व्हाट इज ही सेइंग हाउ डज ही से दैट क्या क्या किया उन्होंने देखो कितना है हमारे सर सर है लोपा मेहता मैडम मनु कोठारी स्टॉलवर्ड्स ऑफ मेडिसिन हमारे जितने इन लोगों को आप बस देखते रहो शांति से देखते रहो एंड यू रियलाइज आई लाइक समथिंग देर आई लाइक समथिंग है एंड यू पिक इट अप आप कितनी बार गलत साथ में हो तो गलत बातें भी उतनी जल्दी से पिकअप कर लोगे तो ऑफकोर्स चॉइस इज योर्स कि किसकी बातें देख रहे हो बट यू शुड ऑब्जर्व द राइट पीपल प्रैक्टिस असेसमेंट अब एग्जाम में अभी आ रहा है मैंने सुना है अभी तक तो बट अभी इतना अगर नहीं है तो यू से वो एग्जाम की बात नहीं है ना छोड़ो ना वो बाद में देखते हैं ऐसा मत करो एग्जाम इज लेस इंपॉर्टेंट योर लाइफ इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इसके लिए इसको करना है डॉक्टर कमिंग टू दैट पेशेंट हैज अ प्रॉब्लम चेंज इन हेल्थ दे आर वरी दे वॉन्ट गाइडेंस एडवाइस ट्रीटमेंट दैट्स वाई दे कम टू यू नेक्स्ट साइड बट बट दे फियर They are entering the hospital with a lot of fear. They are very worried. They fear doctors don't really, really, really like you unless they actually make an impression which is known to them. They fear that something which is a disaster now their life is upside down as they walk in, and it may just be some two tablets or painkillers you might take. That might be what it is. But that patient is thinking if the worst. They they have. Own beliefs, own expectations. Google, of course, is the important part there, and they have come with a lot of things that they explore. And they have now, unfortunately, no trust and patience. If the trust and patience was there, and you sat in front of this patient and said, you know what, ये कुछ नहीं है, दो चीज़ करें कब तक ठीक हो जाओगे, चलो डॉक्टर, थैंक यू. अब यहाँ तो trust भी नहीं, patience भी नहीं, तो जाके वापस Google करेंगे, second opinion, third opinion, fourth opinion. You know what I mean? ऐसा होता रहता है. आगे. Three types of patients: internal controller, external controller, powerful other. Internal controller, the perfect fitness freak, sweat gym, char dry fruits, fit shampoo, yeah, calculated calories, all that. And me, I have to control my life. I will take care of myself. I don't need any doctor's advice. So when the person comes to the doctor, they have so many questions. अरे डॉक्टर मैं 20 मिनट जॉगिंग करता हूँ, मैं dry fruits खाता हूँ, मैं low fat diet, extra fat calories, इतना करके फिर भी क्या हो रहा है सो दे आर अ डिफिकल्ट वन टू आंसर लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एक्सटर्नल डॉक्टर कुछ डरते हैं आपके हाथ में कुछ नहीं मेरे हाथ में कुछ नहीं जो होना है वाला जाने दो यार तुम तुम करो ये करना मुझे कुछ सुनना नहीं है जो करो ये बोलो दे नॉट बॉडर एंड द थर्ड इज द डॉक्टर के पास सब है वो डॉक्टर ही अपने को ठीक कर पाएगा फुल बिलीव मुझे चार्ज ले लो तो बोले ये करो सुबह ये करो ये चार गोली खाओ चार महीने बाद ये टेस्ट करो सब होने वाला है दे लाइक इट नो नो क्वेश्चंस आस That kind of is the powerful other. So there are three types of patients, and you have to figure out which one is this category. Inko kis tarah se handle karna hai mujhe. Next one. So yeah, you know, like explanation like that. Next. External one, no problem. Don't do, don't bother doctor. Dawa tension mat lo. Next. Powerful other. Yes, me authoritarian doctor hai, and all that doctor jo charge le raha hai like that. Doctor, matlab powerful doctor. Next please. <laughs> तो ये अभी बात होगी हमारी क्या त्रास काय त्रास है उठ दुखता है एंड ऑल दैट शॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग यू नो दो स्टेप शॉपिंग पीपल मेक सम एफर्ट राइट राइट ऑन सम सेंटेंसेस एंड ऑफ कोर्स ग्रेजुअली यू लर्न एंड इवेंचुअली यू हैव अ लैंग्वेज यू विल हैव अ न्यू लैंग्वेज एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम मेडिसिन अपार्ट फ्रॉम कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स यू वुड हैव अ थर्ड लैंग्वेज यू नॉट टॉक ऑफ दैट वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट वीक So lower the class of patient, less of the explanation. Research shows lower the class of patient, poorer the patient, uneducated the patient, less the communication, less the information given. Don't do that. That doesn't work. Less practice, poor skills. These skills do not come naturally. We've said that. Yeah. Thanks, please. And towards the end, poor communication. Patient remains worried. They become restless. They do not trust the doctor. Do follow that, but do not follow that. Oh, all this happens automatically. And if you have somebody who cares, then you wouldn't want patient to suffer. Next, please. So we educate the patient, 
we inform the patient with real confidence, we make, help them make a decision of their choice, inform the decision and mentally prepare them and if anything goes wrong, still they are with you and you're working together and you're not opposite parties, you know. So if violence stops by putting security guards, litigation will go up. Courts will be busy. And if you don't want that even, then the only way is to stop dissatisfaction and the only way you can do it is by good communication and developing a rapport and regaining the respectful position and the trust that we've lost. That is our task. Next please. Yeah? Thank you. Right. So quickly let's get into the practice mode. Theory is that is all we need. I had to cover that. I would have rather not even gone through that. I had to do that. Because this is gender remember. Um, the person, our uh, first volunteer, <laughs> the time has come now. Uh, well done, I'm really, really happy about you. By the way, these seven will be given the special treatment at the end. Okay, now I think everybody will come down. The seven, seven will be given the special uh, thank you at the end. So, first person coming down, very brave and courageous. <laughs> Yeah? 
So in the assess the level of importance, how much the doctor is going to give to the poor patient and the educated person. He managed that, you felt. He managed that. I mean, what I actually felt was he was trying more to impress you rather than trying to impress the patient. Right. <laughs> uh, we are trying to impress somebody. That is more important. Impress the patient, impress the examiner, impress your boss, impress the teacher, whatever the assessor. Doesn't matter. But the job is this, to talk to this lady and the talking is based on whatever she is saying. So it's not something imaginary you have to say, you have to respond to her because this is our job. Every day, hundreds of times, how many consultations do you think you do in your lifetime? <laughs> no one can say an exact number. It is different depending on how much work you do. But it can be up to something like 200,000 times. That is the skill that you probably need the most. And therefore, this sort of a excuse in a way at the time cannot be accepted. Fair enough, he was trying to impress. But anything positive that we felt we could be really uh, giving a feedback to Nanesh, that was good. So he tried to make a connection with the patient, like he inquired about the personal history he of the patient. He tried is the good word, but I don't think he managed. Yeah, he didn't manage. Patient? He tried. The patient is laughing. He told her to stop smoking. Um, now, Positives, anything else, try to connect. Negative? But now let me ask you, okay, introduction, did he do introduction? I didn't hear him say who he was. I would have liked him to introduce himself. Would you normally introduce? No time, sir. 300 patients is OPD, I have introduction coming. Is that an excuse? Can that be an excuse to learn this skill? You go out tomorrow and you have to tell who you are. What is the problem? Who are you? What is your I mean, you see what I'm trying to say? You have to learn to introduce. Consent to your patient say, can I talk to you about this? Whatever problem you've got. You assume I'm very fast. I will have to ask her questions. Open questions, push out. Eye contact. Research part. Open question, which ne ke baad, 
within 12 to 18 seconds doctors interrupt you start thinking hum bolo aur bolo acha pain hai kaha hai pain before even she has completed learn that skill to not say a word please learn maine bhi abhi nahi sikha hai abhi bhi actually bad habits thode jaane ko waqt lagta hai to 12 se 18 second mein aap are you impatient okay you will say something and the patient's thought process will get changed it's research proven that you must not interrupt because the day you interrupt the point you interrupt aage patient ka thought process galat hota hai and eliciting symptoms becomes difficult out of those who you have interrupted only one out of 51 allowed the patient to complete that sentence later on jahan pe roka wahan ke baad se aap apne trip pe chale gaye you forgot what she was trying to ask you aap kya soch kar rahe bhaiya aur 50 patient dekhne hain let me ask quickly so next ha a pain acha pata chal gaya pain chest pain hai na to aur kya hai radiation hai aur breathlessness hai edema hai next five said that said अगर आपने उनको सिर्फ बात करने दिया होता अभी ये तो थोड़े आर्टिफिशियल पेशेंट्स है रियल पेशेंट्स आपको ज्यादा से ज्यादा 60 सेकंड्स टू वन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड लेते हैं कितना भी बात करने दो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट इंटरप्टिंग पेशेंट बाय द वे इवन बाई से इतना भी करने से इंटरप्ट कर रहे हो शांति से आई कांटेक्ट देखे लिस्निंग 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 एंड जस्ट बॉडी लैंग्वेज नॉन वर्बल लैंग्वेज में अगर आप उनको एनकरेज कर रहे हो तो शी विल कीप टॉकिंग टॉकिंग एंड टॉकिंग एंड विल गिव द परफेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन दैट यू वांट तो ये स्किल शुरू में होता है लिस्निंग एंड नॉट इंटरप्टिंग व्हिच इज एवरी डॉक्टर्स प्रॉब्लम प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड ये आसान नहीं मैं भी कोशिश करता हूं झट से कुछ बोल जा रहा हूं स्टफ ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन इज अगेन फ्रॉम आई एम सॉरी व्हाट इज माय नेक्स्ट वन अरे वड़ा बिल्कुल तो जीएस स्पिरिट कम ओके
That's it. Okay, from where are you taking your medicine from? Is there anyone else with you? No. So, are you under some kind of stress? Can you tell me more about it? Why are you not able to sleep? Recently, I lost my job. And I'm disturbed. I want my sleeping pill, that's it. Okay, fine, we'll go to that. But before that, there are many other ways. We can come to the pills, that is a part of the treatment. But you have to first make it clear what are your problems, what's that happening in your mind, how's everything going on. You have lost your job, yes, I can understand, I can relate to it. It is, it is, I won't say it is normal that you will feel good about it. If I today, if I lose my job, I will be in the same situation. But you need to relax first. You can have some water, please. I'm fine. I want my medicines. <laughs> have you ever been taken? From where are you taking it? Yes. Can you show it to me? No. Is there anyone else who knows about your problem? No. My, my husband is unhappy with me. And not expressed. I'm not able to express. I want my medicine. That's it. I'm fine. Okay, Just give my medicine. That's it. Okay, fine. I will give you your That's okay. So first you have to tell me what are your all the problems. Then sleeping pills are not just one medicine. There are different kinds of sleeping pills are there. I should be able to choose which one will sleep you. So you have to tell me what are your basic problems. You said you have lost your job. Your yes. husband is not crying. He is not treating you well. Yes. Have you been? Can I ask you a small personal question which will be fine for you to answer? No. <laughs> can we schedule this appointment for the next time? When you are, or I can suggest you to get access. We will look after you for a few days, we will do some tests, we will give you, we will keep you on the operation. And then we can manage your pain, we can manage your sleep disorders, we can take care of it, we can talk to your husband, we can call them over here. And then we will be able to explore more about you, and yes, you will get your sleep. But for that, I will be... My doctor, I am fine. You are fine, but... You don't need to admit me. Just give me sleeping pill and let me go. I can't do that. Can't do that. It would be right on my part to just give you the medicine. But I don't want to talk anything. It's hurting me. Yes. <laughs>
you think patient? Patient didn't open up. Sorry? Patient was not opening up. Not opening up. So his efforts were they getting somewhere? Does that mean he's failed? No. It doesn't okay. every time have to. Doctor doesn't every time have to succeed. But you can try your best. Yeah. He was I trying. trying. He could have tried better, but he was trying. Anybody else? Any comments? Anything? Yeah? Sorry. Microphone there. Sorry. You can start with your name. Sorry. I'm Manaharika. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, in like, this patient, uh, it was more important not to continue, but continuously asking about what is your problem, what is your problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that was the point where she was not comfortable. Correct. So we could have started with a different kind of question. Yes. Uh, okay, what is, what is your name? What do you do? Yeah. How do you do today? And yeah. uh, where are you coming from? And you know, general questions which are not related to her problem. Right. And then we can uh, switch on to her problem. Right. Okay. So, first make a comfortable then. Sure. Fair point. Mm -hmm. So, try and take a different angle because it's not a routine. It's yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you, Ron. Um, round of applause for Ron, please. <laughs> Next slide for a moment. Just cover that part and then I'll go to the demo. In this particular thing for communication, uh, I am not giving a pass there. He had eye contact, he had opening question, he was listening, but there was a lot of other areas that were missing as well. I am concerned. Next slide, please. This is the typical problem with our current communication that introduction, listening, eye contact, sympathy, verbal, non verbal, and all that, exploring the health, and the last part. These are two areas which are certainly not good. This is where we have been concentrating a lot. Define the problem. Make a diagnosis, assess the CPR and do the treatment. Has been our approach. This is pre examine pre and doctor is good. But then to do all that initially and all that later is also equally important. This is where we are heading with communication skills. <coughs> Alright? So um, I will do that. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Sandeep Mane. Uh, I'm a junior doctor in this department. Uh, and I may have your name, please. <coughs> Excuse me, madam, can I talk to you? Can I ask you some questions? <coughs> I'm really sorry to bother you. Please, I mean, if you are here, we want to help. And if you can tell me what is going on, then I can do my best.
you know, go to, that is the language we have to start learning. It's not about not good for you, problem. <laughs> Sorry, as you uh, But seriously, I'm termination yeah. of the pregnancy. Say what? So the word termination of the pregnancy is here. Okay, what's the word termination is termination. But she meant it differently. But they go in shakti, and that one word and the patient just in the flares up. What are you talking, doctor? You are terminating. I have so lovely dreams about this baby. You know that terminating a pregnancy is not the same as delivering a baby. I mean, you didn't mean it, but you see what happens under the pressure. Such things can happen to anyone, anytime. Communication is not something you will learn for your lifetime and you will never make a mistake is not what it is. But as much good, as much practice you make, it gets better. Okay, so uh, what was that next? Yes, I'm so sorry. Two things I felt, introduction was there, eye contact was there, lots of reassurance was missing, lots of patient space was missing and we were not on the same page with the patient. Um, so autonomy is something you have to remember, you have to respect patients' decisions even if they are wrong According to you, provided the patient is in the capacity to take the decision. So all you are going to analyze here, is she in the medical state? Is she able to make a calculated choice? Is the friend able to is together for me, right? Well, yes, she is. She is in control. I have to go with her decision. So Ashwini, you have to step back and you say, Madam, it is your choice, honestly. And I really feel sorry that I'm saying such things to you, which you don't like to hear. But uh, I believe as a doctor, I'm here to help XYZ. And if you feel like that, please talk to your husband. If you'd like to talk to somebody, I'll give you some time. I will come back again later. And I'm sure you may have different thoughts. Because as I said, you kind of had to keep not go on. You had a very rigid thing in your mind. You have to sign. That's why you... <laughs> Sorry, so that was not the thing like. Uh, next one. Surgery. Now, the surgeon is not the same as the surgeon. Surgeon is not the same as the surgeon. The surgeon is not the same as the surgeon. The surgeon is not the same as the surgeon. The surgeon is not the same as the I think girl walk have to do it. I 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 have to do Anybody come down, Chalo. Why surgery? Anyone come down and talk to this lady <coughs> who's going to die to suppress her? Okay, right. Then I'll have to call somebody. They go, it's not that Ashwini has done this work. So, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to <laughs> Good evening. And your name? Right. 
So she's a lady. She's a lady and she's a friend. Yeah, then 
I've been seeing her for so many years, Doctor. She's completely fine. Her cancer all of a sudden. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is great. Oh, I'm just saying that it's cancer. Can you tell me that the report is good? No. Please feel free. 
uh, you can always make an appointment with the troops here again. Alright? And we'll be there with you all the way. I can also organize a community counseling session for you. All this is, we can help you in various ways. We can help. Alright? Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.
this relationship has deteriorated very fast. <coughs> the inability to effectively communicate, the inability to explain to the patient, failing transparency, and many such reasons are today responsible for the deteriorating relationship between doctor and patient. In this scenario, and with the thought that something must be done urgently in this matter, Dr. Sandeep Mani, Chairman, Origin Foundation, initiated a statewide campaign to create sensitive doctors by imparting training in communication skills. This movement to train resident doctors started from the JJ Group of Hospitals, Mumbai. More than 200 resident doctors responded to the mission. This is a cancer. It is essential that patients have confidence in the capability of their doctor. The availability of too much information with the internet at their fingertips can confuse the patients. Adverse comments from friends and relatives only makes matters worse. Negative news spread through the media leads to even more doubts and loss of confidence. Patients become aggressive as they begin to feel cheated. Once a patient is admitted to a hospital, it is advisable to limit the number of people accompanying him to the minimum. Silence should be strictly maintained. The government prescribes rules for security, but we often fail to implement them. If this void in the trust factor is to be filled, the medical fraternity will have to implement many remedial measures as suggested by the government. A patient must trust the doctor, and the doctor must establish good communication with the patient. Doctor's life, I think, is a very big thing. It is working right from morning and having so many different patients and uh, dealing with all those with a different mentality, different category of patients and uh, answering their questions. But they are sometimes very stupid questions uh, and sometimes uh, uh, they may be stupid for a doctor, but then the patient feels that this needs to be asked. Many positive remedial measures will have to be implemented to improve the situation. If not, it will be disastrous. Not only for the future generation of doctors, but also for the patients and ultimately for our country. By taking remedial measures now, we can successfully change the doctor-patient relationship. And India can soon produce the best doctors and provide the best healthcare services in the world. Come on. Pass. Who is coming? Come on. 
fast we do easy to cover this we really have an important evening today and this is a life changing event for us most of us anybody anybody come down they are all wanting they seem to think that you are the one come fast come fast what is the name sir they are encouraging but he is not coming come on fast 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 you don't have time Wasting valuable time. Again, I'm reminding you: this is informal exercise. Nothing matters. It doesn't matter. And we are worried. Why are you worried? Why are you not coming on your own? Why are you not partner? I will handle this. Are you going to do this in your casualty tomorrow? Seriously, tell me. Are you going to say, "I think Papa Boy, who may not be here, but you are"? As a whole, I like. My choice is here. What are you going to do? Break the fear. Who is going to face it? Hi. Hi. You are. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. April. Thank you for coming. Just a little bit. Maybe it will not happen. Don't worry. Just a little bit. Right. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, the scenario is let me explain again because again you need to be ready here. This is not a normal consultation. अब यहाँ पे कुछ ना कुछ होने वाला है गलत फिर गुस्सा करने वाले हैं तो मेंटल इसका मेंटल इन्होंने तो माइंडसेट क्या क्या बोलेंगे? एक पेशेंट का सर्जरी हुआ है तीन दिन बाद वापस आए हैं रिएडमिशन हुआ है तो ये अनएक्सपेक्टेड बातें हो रही है और वो प्रासंग गुस्से में भी हो सकते हैं ये बातें हैं प्यूरेल अच्छा अच्छी बात ऐसा है कि हम लोगों ने जल्दी पिकअप किया है 
who is in control of the mob. One yes. person who has the highest voice. Yes. So you, it's on our ability to identify that person, take him on the side and explain to him. Yes. And when we give him that power, when we give, explain him properly, uh, he can manage or she can manage that thing. Secondly, what I thought was, uh, since she had a history of appendicitis tummy, it was diverted to appendicitis tummy. She had presented with fever. So we could have concentrated on fever, letting that eliminating the causes of what can be the fever about. It can be malaria, it can be anything. Sure. But so, when it is more strong, next slide. When it is more strong, you are obviously going to deal with that acquisition. Yes, sir. Yeah, the operation later and he put his foot into it. Complication. Kirtu Khatam. That kind of you are not done. You can go. Thank you very much for trying. In the anger situation, best approach is to deal with it. Acknowledge. What is the focus of the anger? Why are they getting angry? Legitimize, explain the background to it all. Be very, very calm and collected. Don't start reacting. You could see him getting pressurized. And don't let, don't lie. Don't try to dismiss anger. Don't try to defend, uh, you know, colleagues, cover up. Uh, trying to keep positive and her cheese may her longer demonstrate. But the point was that here, if you're right, one present, it would have been easy to talk to, maybe two. He had to say to them, you know what, we are here to help and what is happening right now, we need to focus on her treatment. I understand, I can understand what you are doing, please, this is a good thing, 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 and this is a good thing, this is a good thing, and this is a good thing, and this is a good thing, so we look after her first, I just need to do my job, I need to admit her, this is a communication, 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 here, 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 you win, and you are coming to you, and then you are coming to you, and then that's how it goes, one thing is wrong, one thing is complication, one thing is wrong, 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 Fraction of a second, this way or that way. So, it's made more skills come out there. Alright, so next please. This is easy. This is easy. See, we can't change without having to push into hand. Senior nurse comes to you and says that angry patient is waiting to see you at the OPD. And he is sitting in front of him. And he wants to meet you. 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 Who is going to volunteer? I think I'm going to give you a point to save the child. Somebody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great. Managerial role. Doctor. Yes, we've got somebody coming. Thank you. Lot of applause, please. Because he saved you from coming down. Okay, I use it. Microphone like that is here. By the way, by the time they're doing that, ये बताना ये है कि जो पाउंस है दोबारा, please I'm reminding, I want them to fill be filled up. बीच में मैं आती हूँ five minutes and then fill them up. Sorry, what's your name? Doctor Harindra Kumar. हाँ काम रहे हैं हरिंद्र थोड़ी देर पहले भी जब सो गया है थोड़ा छोटा है थोड़ी देर पहले भी जो रोहन आए थे पानी आपने डाला था ग्लास में पानी डाल के तुम तो पानी डालते पैसा ऐसा 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 ग्लास में हाँ जी एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली पर प्रैक्टिस जब करोगे ना हाथ एकदम स्टील रहेगा तो उसको पता है क्या होने
not come. He has come for consultation today. And another mistake has come from the accounts department that he was given a receipt which he had paid for 2000 and he got the receipt for 1500 only. So he is very angry. Are there any angry letters? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mistake that the blood report is missing. What do you mean mistake? How come you do mistakes in people's lives? 
Don't you have any responsibility? We apologize on that. I don't need your apologies. Okay. I am not going to do the blood test again. So the operation will be... That I don't know. That is your problem. <laughs> but I will not have... You know, I, am fear, I worry about these needles. Okay. The choice is yours. Either you want to go for operation or either... I will hold you people responsible. If my health deteriorates, you people will be held responsible. We will look after that, everything. But we are concerned about the health. And what about that uh, other problem that they took uh, 2,000 rupees from me and they gave me only 1,500 received? What is all this? Who looks after all that money business? That I will check. This who? Who is responsible for that? You don't even know who looks after that. <laughs> I am a physician. Every person. The physician means what? At the end of the day, I come to you, you charge me money and you need to know all this. That I will look after that. If it is by mistake, uh, maybe I have to pay the way. Then we will then we will research discussing. We will refund the money for the business. If you are so happy, then we will refund. Okay, so I will refund the money. Okay, so I will refund the money. Okay. Right, Lord Allah, please.
slide for the next.
In this situation, this is what would have been expected to do. And then once you are equipped with that information, you will be more confident people. Next please. So we like to take some scenarios, okay? I want your answers. 85 year old bedridden woman, neglected by her children, wishes to give all her assets to the doctor. Yes or no? Yes. Of course it's no. Don't want it. Next please. 50 year old lady with lymphoma of the biopsy shows lymphoma. Husband thinks she wouldn't be able to handle this, so he changes the report for tuberculosis. And he wants you to tell the patient it's TB because otherwise she would die. No. No, not allowed. Now it's divided. Now it's getting a little double. Hmm. Now whether the husband's rights are or problem is to be called in confidentiality or the wife's non medical absence. Which one? Hmm. I'm not answering it for you now. Right now. Sorry, next. 17 year old girl is 16 weeks pregnant. Father wants to terminate the pregnancy, but she wants the pregnancy. Sorry? Terminate or not? Not terminate. I'll come to that. Next. Next. Does a lady doctor need a chaperone while examining a female patient? And from what age onwards? A woman examining a woman. Does she need a chaperone? Yes or no? Ladies, do you need a chaperone while you examine intimate examination on a lady? Yes or no? Questions that you need to think. 16 year old, 15 year old, do you need a chaperone or not? There is no age where you should not or should have a chaperone. But yes, that can, so it is not a yes or a no. It is, you have to evaluate the situation. What can happen, your understanding, your relation, rapport, whether this is dangerous, whether it's risky. She can go out and put a claim and you'll be in the jail if she makes an allegation. Next please, quickly. Priority of appointments between these three. Advanced cancer patient, just one, sorry. Advanced cancer patient with no hope of cure. Stable patient with abnormal pain. Your doctor, friend needs an appointment. Which one would you really be giving more importance? Which one? Doctor friend? Pain? Which one? Which one comes first? Come on. Who is important? Doctor? Doctor friend needs an appointment. Because advanced cancer, why I deliberately put this question? Because of advanced cancer, if any of you are thinking it is a hopeless case and it's not going to survive anyway, then what's the point in giving them time? If that's the attitude, if you keep, then it's a difficult attitude. That's a problem for you. You must not have that attitude and you must still be looking after that patient as if you can do as much and still is equally important. That's the only point I was trying to make there that a patient who is dying cannot be ignored. And that patient will remember, Doctor, you were looking after me for so many years, that time you had hope, so you looked after me. Now that I'm dying, now I'm not important for you. Then is that your failure? You see, it's just a point I'm making. Medical representative is grateful to support this drug and he wants all of you to become a five star dinner party. <laughs> no, he is it. No, five star party. No, he says this. Not allowed. No. Next. Eight year old man with a renal failure. Rings his doctor and says he had a happy life, all jobs done, wife is no more, wants health to stop dialysis and say goodbye to the world. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so she said no. Okay. But try telling that. Now please understand what I'm trying to do. These scenarios demand a very high level of communication skill. This is not saying, oh sorry, no, no, I can't let you die. It's not like that. So much you have to go into the talking. Next, last one. Quick one. <coughs> 40 year old lady, sorry, couple, have lost their son in car accident 18 years age. Wife has got depression and joy and could die. They want to have a baby boy. She will die otherwise. I'm so surprised that you are taking time to think. It should have been a very loud no. Because it is illegal. You cannot, for no reason you can. And I faced this quite a lot of times. This happened, that happened, my boy died, my this died. And I have two daughters, maybe nothing. Please understand. Very clear thoughts, you are not allowed sex selection. 
coming back to that point, communication and clinical skills is something you can certainly work on. Other patient feelings and emotions and whatever else we can't handle, but with our skills, we can manage any of those situations and it is all doable. And last please. Second last in fact, your options are going to be working with the government hospital or the corporate hospital or private practice, group private practice or even go to a foreign country. These are your options. Wherever you go, you have to know communication skills and of course other skills. Next slide please. These are the other skills. You need time management, you need stress management, you need financial knowledge, how to take loans and how to manage hospitals and what salaries to give. I, I went through that process when I came back from England. Kenya to London, back to Thane, private setup, and I'm looking at everybody and thinking, anesthetist took it in the Or fear who can't kick out of the salary care of the nurse who can't do it. You know what? Yes, of course, I have. So, 10 and 10, 20 years of medical training, but I'm puzzled. Day one, I am bringing this fellow, I'm bringing that fellow. So, no graphic machine, kill a darmasa, get that bit of a cloud. Who can that machine? I also said. You may be doing that to you, you know. Uh, so, financial knowledge, administrative skills, just you have seen that the patient is in the middle of the day, the patient is in the middle of the day, administrative skills, and the most important people management. People management. Everything we were talking was people management. And this people management is an art, and I can tell you one thing. You are in this profession to manage people. And if you haven't learned that people management, and people doesn't mean just patients, I showed you that slide, relatives have, colleagues have, your nurse you have to manage, your pathologist you have to manage, so many your security people you have to manage. So managing people is not so easy. The one who actually can learn how to manage people, and managing people is a one-time job. So managing people as a doctor, you have so much on your mind to do that. Please, that's something important you have to remember. And last, I think this is done. Anyway, by the way, how many of you got a diary on you now? How many of you actually are carrying a diary? I can see a writing pad. Anybody else has got any writing pad or another? That's not my writing pad. That's the one that you people have brought with you. Why I say that? as a doctor, if you are not actually working with diaries or some sort of writing pad or something that you work on a ward round, which patient needs what, tomorrow what I have to do, day after, then I have to prepare my presentation, XYZ. If you are not working with diaries, you are in trouble. From tomorrow, if you please remember my words, please buy a diary. And every day, Make note of what I have to do tomorrow, a week later, a month later, a year later, and five years down the line also if you really, that's time management for you. I'm just putting it blankly to you. If you're not working with diaries, you are in trouble, and that habit you must break. Absolutely one thing you must do is tomorrow buy a diary, to the next one buy a diary, and try to write it, and tell me after six months how, you, how your efficiency got better, how your mistakes got less. And how your seniors and your colleagues started thinking you are a different doctor. Keep the diary. Write your things. That you are a human being. You cannot remember all the tasks of all the patients that you have to do in the next six months or one year. So please make sure that you uh, write the diary. And the point I want to make before I invite Madam to have a few words now is what Dr. Supe sir, what Dr. Salagre, Dr. Lopa Mehta, Dr. Rahul sir, Dr. Manukotari, all those legends and great doctors all of them, what they wanted you people to do, the cream of India, is to not just have brains or your skills, but a heart. Knowledge is here, skills, but behavior, attitude, communication. Today, the message to walk out of this room is have a heart for your patients. Forget the brain. Forget the brain. Have a heart, you are doing wonderful. And that heart means care. That's the message this evening. Alright? I would like to invite Madam and then all those seven brave people, sorry, who had who are put into this test, I want them to come down. I want a photo with all seven of you down here eventually. And I want a photo with all of you. What we will do is we will probably sit here, my team, madam, and uh, our colleagues, and we will have a photo with you. So those who are behind can also come forward. That's how
nice group photo. Beautiful memory. So we, from here I go to Pune, this way. Then I go to Pune, Nagpur, Solapur, Sangli, Kolapur, Gondia. I go to every medical college. And this is what I will do for every medical student. Every medical student, not just the resident doctors, because we believe, sir believes, Dr. Sope, sir believes that we need to do this for our students. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In three minutes, stop boring. So I will do the same thing. Please note, I am not saying you do everything for your patient or for others. I am going to tell you something that you do it for yourself. You are the only person with whom you are going to live no one else. My basic equation is that if you detach yourself about what you how you are presenting to others, if you just do as much as you would like to be done to you with all sincerity and integrity, at that moment, whatever you are doing, even if you are combing your hair or wearing your slippers, you are there, what you are doing. Neither worried about what you did in the past or what is going to come in future. You attach to whatever activity you are doing there. Incidentally, we have chosen and I have no hesitation in saying ours is the most noble profession. Please will take care of soul. We are the only ones who can take care of mind, body and soul. If we are there, whatever we are doing, if we live here and now. So you detach and attach in such a manner as Sir has elaborated word ethics. Ethics tries to handle inner conflicts scientifically and spiritually. If you detach in that sense that I am responsible for doing all this, no. We can take care of everything. But even your cup of tea is brought to you in those lady picking up those leaves in that, you know, farm. it's not a simple job. How, much, how many factors combine to give you that cup of tea? Incidentally, we are placed in that Shakespearean seven stages of life. We do different roles. We have picked up a role to play as a medical person. We can take care and because that is also a role play. So if you don't ascribe all credits to you and then attach to whatever you are doing at that time wholeheartedly, what you would like to be done to you, that is a fix. You will have nice peaceful sleep, whether you have Mercedes or Maruti, best bus or train, the aim will be always reach, you will reach your destination because all everything is going to road, signals, traffic, will not 
decide whether you are in Mercedes or Maruti. So, your frame of mind, if you decide every day morning, I have, when people ask me, I say, I have left only one switch open in my life, and that is to feel happy. Beyond contentment, sense of fulfillment. Thank you. Hi. The lady with us 